Hi, so this is in lieu of the live that we were going to do, but I don't ha have the 4G here, so um, hopefully this will work as well. I'm with Claire Udell, uh, Gorilla Fix is with Claire Udell, who's NST rep, and is going to talk to you about where we are. We're going to answer one of the questions that we, we had. The very first thing to talk about is we are um, somewhere very important to Iceland. Uh, it's called the Elfing, um, and it's where the uh, laws were read out. Yeah, the right. parliament used to be uh, until about 1780, when it was moved to Reykjavik where it is today. So Iceland's the home of the longest, longest continually running parliament. It's not home of the oldest parliament, I think that's Egypt, but there's been a continual parliament from the time of, it's from the year 930 until the present day. And the Althing was held here for two weeks of every year. Everyone in Iceland would come together, talk, like meet people, the laws would be read out, people would have trials, any punishments were handed out. Uh, it was just a chance for people to meet new people, make friends, betrothals happened, fights happened. There were duels, duels to the first blood, um, and punishments were handed out as well. And it was two weeks right. of every year here in uh, Thingvetli and the, the walls of the, the, the chasm would have been lined with, um, with buildings and they actually diverted the, diverted the river to provide water for everyone. But that river wow. wouldn't be where it is today. That has moved in the years since. So how do we say where we are? Thingvetli. Thingvetli. One more time. Thing Vettlia. Okay, so uh, Thing Vettlia, and um, you can see why they would have held it here because isn't this just the most amazing place? Um, obviously, I'm not going to be able to get you any panoramic shots or anything like that, but maybe have a little Google of that Thing Vettlia <laughs> if you can manage that. But um, this cliff is a very special cliff, um, which uh, Claire is going to hopefully, and we're going to try and explain to you now. Uh, we were asked a question um, about why Iceland is here, basically. The question was, well, okay, in terms of geology, why is it here because obviously it's a fantastic amazing place we've visited uh, glaciers we visited uh, geyser, geysers we've swam, swam in uh, hot springs today you know it's absolutely a fantastic opportunity to bring a school trip um, but this particular place has a very special and it kind of helps answer that question of why iceland is here in terms of geological terms so <laughs> yeah so what we're walking down at the moment is called the Almangaya, which means the Everyman Chasm. And the two sides of the cliff that we can see either side of us here, they used to be together. And as the, two, the tectonic plates are moving apart, this is all happening deep under the ground because of historical eruptions since the last ice age, when this whole valley was full of ice. Thingvetlia Vatten Lake is what used to be what's known as a proglacial lake. It was left behind as the glaciers retreated back that way up the valley. And then since then, in the last 10,000 years, there's been various eruptions of varying lengths from a few months to 100 years. It's filled all the land in, which means that the divide obviously is underneath our feet. And it's like having a Mars bar. And if you stretch the Mars bar, the chocolate on the top is gonna crack. And that's essentially what's happening with the land. As the plates are moving apart, the, the land on top is cracking, leaving these big cracks and big chasms that are getting larger over time, about the same rate that your fingernails grow. And this bit of land you can see on that side, that used to be attached to this, like I just said. And as the plates are moving apart, that bit in the middle, which is known as the graben, is dropping down, and that's pulling this bit of land here with it. It's called rotational slip in a very simplistic term. So the whole feature is much bigger because we're on the tectonic divide between the American plate, which is that one, and the Euro European plate, which is kind we'll of that one, point, but it's actually way over the there, other yeah, side. Yeah. So the whole feature is much, much bigger than you expect. You can't stand with your feet either side of a line. Yeah. It's a much larger feature than that. So Iceland is on uh, the mid-Atlantic ridge. So this is this is a, essentially a hot spot in that where it, it's ra raised up further because it's a So the mid-Atlantic ridge point. runs from the bottom left-hand corner of Iceland along and then it turns and goes up to the north. So it's a huge, huge feature, but Iceland is also on a hotspot. So they're two oh, separate so two, things. Yeah. yeah, and the hotspots where you've got a, pl a plume of lava, which is less dense, and therefore it rises to the surface, le leading to the, the slightly different um, tectonic and volcanic things that you see here, as opposed to somewhere where it would just be the tectonic divide. And then this is where the Mid-Atlantic Ridge literally comes out of the sea and then goes up through Iceland and then back down again. So Iceland is getting larger by about the same rate your fingernails grow every year. Excellent. Um, so also, um, so this is America basically. Sort of. <laughs> and that over there is Europe and everything like that. That's yeah. the I don't know. That's the way I, I <laughs> feel about. It. So if you ever get the opportunity to come to Iceland on, on a school trip or as a sort of lone traveller in the future, then do it and get yourself a guide because the things that you learn and rather than just seeing spectacular things, then you're going to actually get uh, that fascinating teaching as well. There was something about these rocks that you were telling us. Um, 
about the different layers. Yes, yeah, so each of the layers uh, will correspond roughly to a different volcanic event. And the thicker the layer, the longer the eruption was that went, that went on. And you do say there is evidence of some lava tubes. I think they might have gone past them, which is when the lava flow happens and the top of the lava flow actually solidifies, but it insulates the lava inside and the lava inside keeps running and you end up with these beautiful tubes called lava tubes. And there is evidence of some along the bottom of these flows. But I think we might have gone past them, unfortunately. Fantastic. I mean, the things that we've done have been absolutely incredible. Um, I'll just a little pause, a little plug. Um, Claire Udell is on Instagram. Yep, Instagram and Twitter, at Claire Udell, C-L-A-I-R-E-Y-O-U-D-A-L-E. Yeah. I believe I'm the only one, and the Twitter <laughs> handle is the same. It's like you and then Dale. Um, and also, if you've got any questions or any, any other things, then why not post them in the comments. Maybe you've been to Iceland, maybe you've been on a school trip to Iceland. Maybe you'd just like to... Let's go that one. We'll end up there. Yeah. Maybe you've... Um, <laughs> experience for yourself and you've got something you want to add something you you found fascinating on iceland uh we've had a great four days <laughs> teachers are tired kids are tired but uh it's because it's been action-packed and i think again that i'd suggest the things that you can see and do with a guide are incredible and it'll just give you um that little bit more kind of learning um <laughs> to make that, that trip just even more special than just a kind of photography trip, which uh, photography is awesome, but um, <laughs> you'll get more out of it with a guide. I've been trying to film some physics videos. I've talked about layers. I've talked about energy resources because the vast amount of energy resources here are renewable. Almost everything really, apart from transport, is renewable you know, on Iceland. And I've done some of the physics of pressure with geysers earlier. And uh, what other physics have I done? <laughs> this, all these little bits of physics come into geography. And I'm just going to end this little video. Apologies that it wasn't live. But it's a nice way to end it because you can actually see some lava flow some good lava, yeah. just here, actually. This wasn't what I was here for, but you can maybe see that kind of and just it's imagine. More runny lava. This is Pahoe Hoey lava. Second. So it's Pahoe Hoey lava, so it's a slightly runnier, much less viscous, it moves a lot faster. And you can see where it's pushed up and it's started to cool and it co forms a skin almost like on top of milk. Yeah, yeah, it reminds me of just like the schmooze. Custard, uh, custard yes, yeah, yeah. But um, the skin on custard, <laughs> like that. But this is Fingveclia. You might not be able to see this in the video. Yes, you can just see that black line on that distant hill. And that essentially is the Eurasian plate. So that's where Britain is. And this is a constructive plate boundary, I'm right in saying. Yes. Because new land is being made in between and that land is sinking. And that's right. And behind us is the American plate. So that's why Iceland is where it is. I hope that answers your question. And uh, yeah, tune in, in the next few weeks for some videos that I'll be producing um, from Iceland. Thank you very much once again to Claire. Follow her on Insta and uh, yes, subscribe if you're not already and catch you later.